All right, next up, people, we're going to take a look at Trayvon Mullen uh, out of the national champion uh, Clemson Tigers. Um, he made himself some money for sure uh, in the national championship game. He had a really nice game uh, as far as the national championship goes. So that game, unfortunately, will not be included in this. But uh, I'm sure you can catch a replay of the national championship if you want to go back and look at it. Unfortunately, it's not up. But hopefully, if uh, if we you know decide to bring him in for a visit, <clears throat> um, you know, I'll I'll do a further deep dive, and that film will be up by then. But uh, Trayvon Mullen, he's a six one, um, uh, 190 pounds out of Clemson. Uh, and you know, with with that being said, since he's out of Clemson, I you gotta be careful, um, with teams that have such good fronts. Um, I'm, I'm the same way about this with Alabama, uh, Alabama uh, secondary members. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, since their front is always so good, you just got to be careful with the secondary uh, members because you never know if they're really that good or, or it's, you know, a call. It's because of the pressure from uh, that the, the defensive front gets. So just got to be careful. Uh, we're going to take a look and see and see what we got here. Um, but uh, the draft network says uh, Mullen is a long and physical corner that functions best in the press and zone coverage. Um, it's those techniques where his uh, physicality, length, and ability to read the backfield are uh, accentuated. Um, Mullen plays up to his frame in terms of uh, play and strength and assertiveness as a tackler and in coverage. Uh, he flashes moments of outstanding ball skills, and his long arms allow for recovery, uh, recovery and margin of error. A uh, concern I have, not me, but this is what the Draft Network says, the concern I have with Mullen uh, are lack of ideal short area quickness, recovery speed, and tight hips. Um, his ability to turn and run, run uh, in man coverage uh, and remain in phase, I don't know exactly what that means, uh, can be problematic. Um, on account of those shortcomings, Mullen is extremely grabby and has a tendency to uh, arrive, arrive off schedule at the catch point. Um, so I don't know how to take that. Is, is he slow? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Let's, you know. Let's just jump. Let's just jump into the film and see what it says and see if anything that they say translates to the tape. All right. Trayvon Mullen out of Clemson. National champion Clemson Tigers, that is. You get it right. That's a nice tackle. He, he is number one, if you if you didn't know. Oh, let me get y'all y'all tunes real quick. I keep forgetting to do that. I do like his height. Um, he's got to put on a little bit of weight, but his height is is great. Mm. I was watching him up top. He hesitated a little bit and let the let the receiver get in front of him or get behind him. He. Quarterback didn't go his way, obviously, but probably could have caught him slipping. See if he wants some smoke. Nice tackle. That's a nice tackle. Uh, a lot better than what I've seen from, from a few other corners. See, this is kind of what I was talking about. The pressure from the the defense uh, or the defensive line forces Aaron throws and uh, it forces the quarterback to do things that, um, you know, that make it easier for cornerbacks in these kind of defenses. And that's why I want to make sure uh, I'm not a fan. This is why I'm not a fan. I automatically drop Alabama defensive backs. 
um, a down a tier just because of that. They're that good. Their defensive front is that good that you never know. Uh, so I automatically dropped them down. And they, and they and again, they some of them do turn out good. And we we'll, we have this discussion. Maybe I should save this conversation for a little uh, another time and give Trayvon Muller his just due. But I'm just I'm trying to go, come into this with an open mind. All right. Here we go. Nice. Nice play on the ball. That wasn't him, but nice play on the ball right there. Look at this. Look at how. You see what I'm saying? The, there's so much pressure on the quarterback. Like, you just don't know, man. He's not getting many targets either. It's hard. To, this one's hard to tell. There wasn't much film of him put up. Ah, uh, he would have had a nice play too if you would have caught that. A nice open field tackle. That's a really good tackle. Mm, he got turned around, then recovered, shed that block, and then nice open field tackle. I like that. Good play. If you would have looked at the ball, that would have been an interception. Ah, I hate that, man. Play the ball. The rest. Mm. Mm, that's that's PI. It's gotta be a PI. I don't think they called it, but geez. Mm. It's a nice catch but good play on the ball. Good recovery. Mmm. Jeez, for real? Or Farrell? Here we go. It's good physical defense. Nice. Jeez, man. That def that defensive front is so good, man. All all four of those dudes are gonna be in the league at some point. Three of them this year. Oh, 11 laid out for that jump. Farrell with a, a block. But all right, it's not much, not much to take from uh, Farrell. Uh, I'm sorry, Farrell. I got Farrell on the brain. From Trayvon Mullins' tape. Um... I, I like his size. I, I got to see a little bit more, but I'm thinking maybe third, fourth round pick for him. 
just because based off what I see, it's not much. It's a small sample size. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to shoot up the boards with his size and his uh, and, and the, his national championship game is going to get him some money. Um, I'm not seeing, I'm man, I, 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 there's other cornerbacks I like in the first round and there's other cornerbacks I'd rather I'd take in the second round. I'm not seeing him in the, I'm not seeing him in the first two, uh, but maybe if it was a third round, one of the comp compensatory picks we got, maybe, maybe one of those I could see it, but not in the first two rounds. Um, maybe I'm tripping though. I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen enough Clemson football to be honest with you, uh, to make a, a, a right or wrong assumption. And his these two film sessions were just too short. Not enough sample size. Not enough throws his ways to make a, a solid determination. All right. So that being said, make sure you like, subscribe. See y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.